Hello everyone and welcome back. We're back playing some more Animal Crossing and I'm very excited to be playing this again. We're watching Dom walk around the screen. He's just, he's so freaking cute. I can't handle it. But if you haven't seen my first couple Animal Crossing videos, I will have them linked somewhere on the screen here. I highly recommend you go check them out because it's the start of this game and there's some key things that kind of happen. And overall, it's just a good time. I mean, it's Animal Crossing. It's adorable little animals living on an island together. It's cute. How could, how do you even go wrong? So we're going to get back into it here. We're going to go see what's happening over on Mistvale Island. I'm very excited. Looks like we have an announcement from Tom Nook himself. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Nook. It's 9.31 a.m. this happy Wednesday, October 14th, 2020. Now for today's news. A brilliant fellow named Blathers has joined us on Miss Vale. Yay! I love Blathers so much. Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past and present, and he is here to study Miss Vale. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. That's all from me. I do hope you all enjoy another fine day of luxurious Miss Vale living. Thanks, Tom! We're gonna go over there right away. Let me go see Blathers. Let me go! As you can see, the island is still uh, full of weeds. <laughs> that hasn't changed. Hey Dom, I see you. I wanna say hi. Hey yeah, indeed Aru, you good? Let's chat. Hey, isn't that the hat I gave you? Looks great, really shows off your head muscle, indeed Aru. Oh my god, Dom, stop being so cute. Stop it. Just stop. Oh, there's Diva. Let's go say hi to her, too. Sup, you know? Where you headed? What's the latest? Where does that? Except for the plaza, we're allowed to plop furniture down wherever and whenever we like. I kind of want to stick a bench and a vending machine somewhere to, like, make a cool hangout spot for folks. What about you? I say if you've got an idea for the island, then go make it happen, you know? Thanks for the suggestion. Oh my god, his tent is here! Look at his adorable little tent! Let's go! I want to see the man himself. Oh my god, there he is! Hi, Blathers! If y'all didn't know, I love owls, like, a lot in real life. So Blathers is one of my favorite characters in this game, for sure. Who, a pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I'm exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island, thus I have come to conduct research, if you will. Aha, could it be that you are Kika, the personage who chose the location for this tent? I am. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. Oh my god, stop, you're so cute. Live here forever, just don't ever leave. Now regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I am determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. Yeah, you are. You're never leaving. So should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures, as well as those you gave Tom Nook, in the museum upon its completion. Though, I confess, there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display, that is another matter. Hmm, I think I see where you're going with this. Which is where you come in, what what? Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too, who? As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond that river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with the fossils I require. But the river, you say? I can't just hop over it, you say. Who, silly you. I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Whoa! Did he just throw shade at Tom Nook? Oh my god, Blathers. I love you even more. Pardon me, Kika, while I transmit the vital data to your Nook phone. Send me all the things. Look at his phone! Even his phone has a little fossil pattern on it! Oh my god. There, you see, with wood gathered from Miss Vale, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. 
This pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go, hooty hoo. I sent DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well, which brings me to my point. Please, Kika, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I have blathered on far too long. Ha, I see what you did there. But let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit. Fifteen more, to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. Of course we will! How is that even a question? Oh my god, I love you so much, Blathers. You are so friggin' cute. Can't handle it. It's too much cute. It's too much cute. Alright, let's check our phone here uh, real quick. Yay, we got the shovel and the vaulting pole. We needed both of those real bad. So we need to get some softwood and some hardwood to make these. Which means we have to start chopping at some trees with our axe. Oh, we got some Critterpedia stuff going on here. Uh, oh, oh right, because I forgot we caught this guy, the little bagworm. Neat, okay. And I see we got some Nook Miles as well. Um, where? Am I dumb? Did I miss it? Mm, oh no, they're just new ones that opened up. Yep. So bugs, fish, and the other one was this one. Digging up clams. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Well, let's, um... That is not what I wanted. Where is it? There it is. So we're gonna start hacking at some trees. Oh, there's some softwood already. And let's get some, oh, hardwood. Perfect. Let's come down here and find another tree. Oh, we got some regular wood. And some hardwood and softwood. Perfect. Um, some cherry trees. Perfect. I think we got enough of both now. Five of each? Yes, we do. Okay. Let's go craft those. Oh my god, Dom, you're so cute and fluffy. Every time I see him, it just puts a smile on my face. Alright. Should I craft something? Of course. We got stuff to do that we need. Oh, I should also... Well, we don't need the watering can just yet. I made a flimsy shovel. And let's also make this. Perfect, now we can get across the river. That's so exciting. We can go see what's on the other side now. There's nothing in the recycle bin. I've also been meaning to figure out what this is. Oh, how could I forget? Mm, I should give you a brief explanation about that terminal. That is our nook stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. At the moment, you can use two services, Kika. The first is nook shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to find on an island. Second, this terminal serves as an automatic bell dispenser, or ABD, for the bank of nook. We're also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem nook miles for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed. Yes, yes. Welcome to Nookstop, a multimedia terminal from Nook Inc. Once per day, accessing the Nookstop will award you bonus daily miles, so day one we get 50. Perfect. Please select from the following services. Let's check Nook Shopping just to see. We got a scooter, mountain bike, looks like we got some clothing options, some rain boots, and we got a song that we can get from Mr. KK. But we don't have enough money for that yet, so 
Um, we'll sign off of this for now, but it's nice to see just daily what kind of stuff is offered on there. And then we'll just go check this real quick. So you can deposit um, bells in here into a little savings balance, and it'll also show uh, how much is left owing on your loan, but that's not a thing we have to worry about yet because we are still in a tent. Um, we don't have a house yet, so that's like later on, but I just wanted to kind of show this to you guys and kind of explain what this little machine does. Oh my god, we're so poor. <laughs> we need bells real bad. Okay, let's sign out of here. <laughs> Oh, we got some miles for using this. Oh, for making tools. If you, if your tools break, just make more. And to take away the sting, you'll earn Nook Miles based on the number of tools you craft. Sweet. Three miles. Creative enthusiast. All right, let's go. Perfect. I'm very excited about this now. Uh, let's just... I'm gonna move some stuff around in here. Cause it's kind of a mess in here right now. We're gonna put like our critter catching stuff here. Put our vaulting pole here. Maybe we'll put our shovel here. And our axe here. And that way we just kind of have our tools in a line like this. I forgot we got... We got a mess of stuff in our inventory going on right now. It is a disaster. So let's cross the river because why not? Let's start over here. Because I want to check out all of this. Whee! Oh, perfect. Look at our hyacinths! Of course we can't get up to these cliff sections yet because there's a different tool that we need to get. I won't say it right now, though if you're familiar with Animal Crossing, you probably- that's a big fish. You probably know what it is already, but yes. That's- that's a later thing. We'll worry about that later. No, I want to catch a fish. Scooch. Ugh. Oh god, he bit it right away. Oh! Yes, I caught an olive flounder. That's not the pits. So that's a new type of fish. Perfect, we can donate that to Blathers. And what else can we find? There's lots of shells that we should probably collect so we can sell. Oh, it's so nice seeing the rest of our island. I like this little rock area. This could make something real cool eventually. Looks like we got a cliff system all the way up here. Yep. Can't get to it yet, but it'll be nice when we can. Let's look for some of these fossils Mr. Blathers was talking about. Oh god, I have a lot of trees. Holy crap. <laughs> Oh, okay, so here we go. This little uh, marking on the ground denotes a fossil. Look, I dug up a fossil. Cover that up. Ooh, there's a bug there. We should probably try and catch some bugs as well. All right, let's go explore up here a little bit. See if we can't find uh, some more fossils. I like this little waterfall. That's really pretty. Okay, let's go this way. There's a lot of weeds up here too. Oh, there we go. Found another one. Woo! Look, I dug up a fossil cover that hole because we don't need that just open for people to fall oh I found another one um, but yeah for people to fall into you don't want like yucky little holes all over the island so we got our third fossil anything else over here let's see 
Oh, another little waterfall. Perfect. I love waterfalls. They're so pretty. Let's see here. Anything else? Yup. There we go. We found all four. Oops. <laughs> that is not what I meant to do. There we go. <laughs> Dig in the right spot, Krista. Alright. Alright, so we're done with this. Let's try and uh, catch some bugs for blathers. Where'd that butterfly go? Eh. No! No! No, come back! There we go. <laughs> yes, I caught a paper kite butterfly. Do I read it, fly it, or spread it on toast? Oh my god. Let's check our miles here real quick. Bonafide bone finder. Congratulations on finding your first fossil. Of course you'll need some nook miles to commemorate the occasion, but don't celebrate too hard. There are more fossils to dig up. Yes, yes. So we got some more miles, some more keywords. Oh wait, did I miss something? Oh I did, Nook Phone Life. Gotten used to using your Nook Phone, the fact that you're reading this probably means you have. Keep using it and enjoy some Nook Miles just for getting familiar with it. Well thanks, I will take them. Smartphone Savant. Perfect. And we've got our Critterpedia updated as well with our paper kite butterfly here. Oh, what else? Oh, the fish, that's right. Oops, wrong thing. Um, must be over here, yep. Olive flounder. All right. Let's see if we can't find some more bugs. Oh, there's another fish. Let's try and catch that. <laughs> so close. <laughs> try again. Whoop. Eat it, little fishy. Oh, this is a new one. Yes, I caught a tilapia. It makes me happier. Oh my god. Stop with the puns! Can't handle it. We'll just hop ourselves back across here. Any other critters want to come out? Oh, I see a butterfly. No, I missed. No, I missed again. There we go. Third time's a charm. I caught a common butterfly. They often flutter by. Alright. There's another little fish. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. We can't carry any more stuff. So what we should do is probably go uh, return some of this to Blathers. Sorry, fishy. Didn't mean to scare you away. Go return some of this and see what Blathers has to say about these fossils and these critters. You should be very excited. Let me in. I demand to speak to the owl. Hey dude. Presents for you. Please let me know if you have items to donate or need assistance. I am here to help. Who? I need to make a donation. What would you like to donate? Um, should we start? Let's start with fossils. Who? Indeed, there can be no doubt. This is a fossil. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island. But I digress. Back to the matter at wing. I must assess your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm. Indeed. Hoo-hoo. Of course, it can be but one thing. A saber-tooth tail. My feathers, what a fabulous fossil. 
This saber-tooth tale would be a sizable step toward opening the museum. I wonder, would you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic to the cause? I'm donating it! Hoot, how wonderful. I'll add this to our collection with the utmost haste. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved saber-tooth tale. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I am quite knowledgeable, you know. Please! Wonderful, tis fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now where to begin? Chief actor in my most terrifying nightmares, the saber-toothed tiger was a mighty predator of long ago. Its most famous feature, obviously, is its razor-sharp, eight-inch-long t t t fangs <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so unprofessional of me. Come on, Blathers, stiff upper beak, a eh? what? Oh my god, I love how he talks. While no one has seen a living specimen for some 10,000 years, we must remain ever vigilant. And that is what I have to say about that. Any hoot, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you, and best of luck. Yes, now then. This also applies to the fossil you've brought this time, but... Only a specialist such as myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its proper designation. From now on, do please bring me any fossil of unknown origins you find. Whether or not you choose to donate it is up to you. Either way, I shall gladly assess it. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else that could be donated, and if so, might I take it for you? I've got something. I've got many somethings. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? Let's go with... Uh, let's start with this little bagworm here. Eek! A bagworm! The horror, the repugnance, good heavens, I must maintain my composure. Ahem, I beg your pardon. Bugs, I do detest them. Still, there's much I can tell you about the insect you apprehended, if you insist, that is. Please tell me. I want all the infos. Ah, I see. In that case, ahem. The bagworm is, in fact, not a worm at all, but a caterpillar instead. The filthy fraud uses silk and leaves to spin a cozy bag for it to hide inside, hence the name. Some find it cute the way bagworms dangle from trees, but the truth is they're gluttonous monsters. These beasts love to stuff their bug gullets full of leaves, devouring the very trees they hang upon. Wretched villains is what they are. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else that can be donated, and if so, might I take it? I've got something. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? Uh, let's continue with the bugs, let's give him this one. Eek! A common butterfly. What a wretched thing. Not, you don't even like butterflies, but they're pretty. Alas, I'm obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen, please? Ah, uh, I see. In that case, ahem. The common butterfly would have, would have you believe it is but a beautiful friend flitting prettily about the flowers. Ooh, I had to be careful about reading that. I almost screwed that up. Bah, I say. They may seem innocent things with their pretty white wings, but they hide a dark side. A common butterfly caterpillar is called a cabbage worm, you see, and it's a most voracious pest. The ravenous beasts chew through cabbage, broccoli, kale, and the like with a devastating gusto. In my feathers, their green coloring is truly gross. A horrific hue, I say. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else that could be donated, and if so, might I take it? Of course. Uh, here, take this one. Eek, a paper kite butterfly. What a wretched thing. So you can kind of get the point that like this can get a little bit repetitive when you have a lot of things to donate and stuff. But I really do like hearing the facts that he has about the bugs and the insect or uh, the bugs and the fish because it's just like I love listening to him talk. So, alas, I'm obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please tell me. In that case, ahem. With its black and white striped wing pattern, the paper kite butterfly is both elegant and pretty. Pretty poisonous, I mean. Who oh dear, where was I? Oh yes. 
Even this butterfly's black and white striped larva and little golden pupa are toxic to predators. Indeed, the paper kite butterfly's foul flavor is famous, and thus birds in particular steer clear of the fiends. This bird, most of all. <laughs> Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. I wonder if you've had anything else that could be donated, and if so, might I take it? I've got something. Let's give him some fish. We've put him through enough torture with bugs. Let's give him something he actually likes. Uh, here, have a tilapia. Whoo! Woohoo! This is undoubtedly a tilapia. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your tilapia? Please tell me. Wonderful. I would love nothing more. Wherever the waters are warm, tilapia can be found. It is a highly adaptable river fish. They mainly feed on algae, but they will also eat larvae and dead fish, or whatever fits in their mouths. I will confess that, as a growing owlet, I similarly define food as anything that fits in my beak. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else that can be donated, and if so, might I take it? I've got one more thing, Blathers. What would you like to donate? Have a flounder. Here you go. Enjoy that. Hoo-hoo, why this is an olive flounder. Now might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your olive flounder. Of course you can. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Did you know that the olive flounder is the same shape as other fish when it hatches? But as it grows, it gets both wider and flatter and can reach some three feet long. These flat fish spend much of their lives buried under the sandy ocean floor waiting for prey to happen by. Imagine the surprise for said prey when they strike. It would be as if your kitchen floor were to bite you. Oh, you silly bird. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. With this, we need nine donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I am eager to accept your continued contributions. Who? Yay! So, does he not want these fossils then? Or... Please let me know if you have items to donate or need assistance. I'm here to help. Oh, here, assess fossils. Who? what would you like me to assess? I'm all a flutter. I need you to assess these, please. Who? more than one, I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Who? woohoo, these are rare fossils, each and every one, and have not appeared in our collection. I say, you have quite the knack for finding valuable fossils. I'm terribly jealous. I only hope I can convince you to donate these and help expand our little museum. In the meantime, I shall return them to you, but do think on what I said, hoo-hoo. Blathers, of course you can have them! Come on, is it even a question? Make a donation. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? So we got amber, a terra I think that's a pterodactyl wing, and an Ankylosaurus skull. So we got some nice stuff here. Ooh hoo hoo, could it be? It is. Some amber. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved amber. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I am quite knowledgeable, you know. Please! Wonderful. Tis fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Amber is formed from the sap of ancient trees that hardened over time. Because of its beauty, it has often been traded and used as jewelry throughout history. However, individual specimens may contain ancient plants or insects trapped inside them. I can't help but think about Jurassic Park and, like, the old dude's cane that has the mosquito trapped in amber. Um, on the top of it. Every time, it never fails. These are valuable resources for learning about ancient eras, such as when the dinosaurs roamed. And this is why they are sometimes displayed in certain, ahem, exceptional museums. Like mine! And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. By the by, I wonder if you have, uh, I wonder if you have anything else that could be donated, and if so, might I take it for you? Of course I've got something. 
What would you like to donate? Have a wing. You have wings, you'll appreciate it. Ooh hoo hoo, could it be? It is. A left terra wing. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved left terra wing. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I am quite knowledgeable, you know. Please. Wonderful. Tis fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now where to begin? The mighty Pteranodon. Oh, I thought it was a ter pterodactyl. Never mind, it's a Pteranodon. Among the very largest animals ever to fly, they were role models to us all. With a wingspan of over 23 feet in some cases, I find it simply stunning that they ever did more than glide. But fly they did, soaring dynamically and dramatically over land and sea. I wish I could have seen it. And that is what I have to say about that. Any hoot, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you and best of luck. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else that could be donated. Of course I do. What would you like to donate? An ankylo skull, please. Ooh hoo hoo, could it be? It is. An ankylo skull. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved ankylo skull. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I am quite knowledgeable, you know. Please. Wonderful. Tis fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now where to begin? Oh, Ankylosaurus was the herbivore hero, the grazing gladiator, the vegetarian barbarian of antiquity. Oof. That was a little tough to read. Between its club-like tail, heavy armor, and honest-to-goodness spikes, it was a formidable beast. Can you keep a secret? I have even heard recent theories that it actively attacked predators. Can you imagine such behavior in an herbivore? It simply beggars the imagination. And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find re what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you and best of luck. With this, we need six donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I am eager to accept your continued contributions. Who? Perfect. Well, I call that a successful trip to Blathers. We only need six more donations and we can get our museum set up. So that's very exciting. But I think that's where I'm going to end this part here, guys. I know that was a lot of dialogue and like a lot of reading and uh, listening to little factoids, but that's Blathers for you. That's literally why his name is Blathers is because he just blathers on and on forever. But he's one of my favorite vill er, characters. He's not a villager. He's one of my favorite characters in this game and I just love him so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video.